What's up, everybody? My name is Greg. Welcome back to the Ride Share Hub. Uh, Dylan asked me to host today, so I am going to be giving you guys 10 tips as well as just my experience as a driver for Uber and Lyft or whatever other company you're doing and uh, just kind of how I've made it work. So yeah, as usual, if you like it, you know, give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe as well. So my story with uh, ride sharing is a few years ago, I was living in Nashville, Tennessee, had a decent little career, woke up one day, decided I wanted to be an actor. So I quit my job and started auditioning for really crappy film gigs as well as I had to replace my income. So I looked into Uber and Lyft because I had seen a lot of advertisements for it. And so I was like, you know what, I'll check this out. So uh, I started as a full-time driver. Uh, I only do about probably 10 to 20 hours a week now. Um, so I've kind of, I've experienced all sides of, you know, how you can do it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys some of my experience real quick. So the first tip that, um, I would give you guys is uh, set goals and it kind of goes into my second tip as well as having a good schedule. So set your schedule and then base your goals around that schedule. The reason I say that is like the times you drive are going to be crucial. If you can drive on the weekends, you're going to make a lot of money. Um, if you can only drive midday, you know, the money isn't going to be as good. And weekdays is basically, you know, 4 to 8 a.m. and 4 to 8 p.m. are like the only times that in my eyes are really like worth it. And again, this is for my market. So if you live in New York or L.A., you know, it might be that all hours of the day people are partying and you kill it. Um, but yeah, so set realistic goals based around your schedule on what you want to make each week. Um, and like I said, the schedule is everything, you know, that's, that could be the difference in like $500 a week, you know, so be, be really real about that. As you learn your market, you're going to figure out the best times to drive. Um, my third tip would be make it a side gig. The main reason I say this is, um, it's a little bit tougher driving. Like when I first started, you could make just killer money. They had crazy bonuses it's just changed a lot. Now it's still, it's still lucrative. It's still a good option. But what I've found is that if you're doing it full time, you're going to end out, you're going to end up like more stressed out than anything, trying to make your rent money, your car payment, whatever it is each week versus, um, just doing it as a side gig. You're just kind of like, Hey, whatever I make awesome, you know? So for me, like I usually just end up paying utility bills with this, or if I do get lucky and do really good in the span of a week, I make a car payment. But um, all my bills are covered by my other job. I have a sales job. And so for me, it's like even better because now I don't worry about it. I'm not freaking out. You know, I just kind of go out and drive, you know, it's just really chill. So like right now I'm waiting in the airport lot to get a ride at the airport. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, no stress. Uh, my fourth tip and really fourth and fifth tip kind of go together as well. My fourth tip is be friendly. My fifth tip is have fun. Um, and this is kind of like what I was saying, like, if you're not enjoying doing this, just don't do it, you know, because people are going to pick up on that vibe. You're not going to get tipped well, and you're just going to look like this jerk, annoying driver. Who's just pissed off the world, you know, just have fun with it. Talk to people, hear their life stories. Like, you're going to meet some crazy people doing this. I've met some crazy people doing this, including four NFL players, Lil Yachty's dad, and I'm not joking about any of this, and Taylor Swift's first agent. <laughs> so you're, you never know who you're going to run into. So just ask people their story. Enjoy it. You know, it's, it's a really fun gig. Um, Six is uh, rest, and this is more applicable if you're a full-time driver or if you're working a full-time job and trying to get, like, full-time ride share hours in there. Be smart, you know. I mean, most people know this, but, like, it is literally more dangerous to drive, like, exhausted and on the verge of falling asleep versus drunk. So don't be dumb about this. Be smart. Get good rest. If you're If you're wiped out, you know, after your day, just don't drive, you know. You can turn on the app anytime you want. That's the beauty of it. Um, my seventh tip is, and this is especially helpful if you're going to be doing this a lot, is don't eat out um, for a few reasons. The main reason is you're going to spend way too much money. You know, you can think you're doing it cheap, going to fast food, 
But like in reality, you still end up spending like anywhere from five to seven dollars on a combo. And if you're getting your own groceries and packing your lunch, it is cheaper. It is literally so much cheaper. And trust me on that. Um, it's also extremely unhealthy. You know, I've noticed that I did have one point where I was eating fast food like two, three times a day sometimes while I was driving Lyft and Uber. And I just felt like crap. I was fatigued. It's, you know, it's just not good for your body, you know, but that's self explanatory. Like, come on now. <laughs> um, eight is uh, capitalize on your downtime. You know, like I'm sitting in the airport lot right now waiting for a ride. It might take another 20 minutes. Who knows? And uh, so I do a lot of different things. You know, if I have an upcoming acting job, I'll sit and uh, I'll go over my dialogue. I'll memorize my lines. Um, I read books. I like watching a lot of YouTube videos, like just self-education. Uh, my roommate drives as well. He watches Game of Thrones, like, because he's a little behind. So he's plowing through, like, seasons at a time, you know, just um, while he's waiting for his lift ride. So find ways to use that, use that downtime. Like what I, what I would say don't do is don't just sit on Instagram or like just doing dumb things, you know, either get something done or like do something you really enjoy, like watching a show, because it, again, it's going to make the app easier to do. It's going to make Uber and Lyft feel a lot more tolerable. Um, Number nine is music. You know, the music you play is really important. I'm not going to tell you to stereotype people, but be realistic, all right? If you see you're picking up someone named Betty, Betty's more than likely 50 to 80 years old, and she's not going to want to listen to Tupac, Lil Nas, you know, like any of these guys, you know? So be realistic. Like, don't judge people. And ultimately, if people get in your car, ask them if they have any preferences. Like, what would you like to listen to? I have Spotify Premium. If I don't have a playlist that matches their needs, I use the Spotify radio. It's really simple, and it, it's pretty solid. And Apple Music has the same option. Uh, number 10, and this is my final tip, be personal, guys. Just be you. You know, if you're being fake, people are going to feel like you're being fake to try and get tips. So just be yourself, you know, just be you. Like, you will get tipped well if you're just natural, you're conversational, you're you, you don't try to force it. It's going to be way easier on you, and people are going to respect that. They're going to give you good ratings. They're going to give you good tips. So yeah, that's all my tips, guys. Uh, I do hope that all of this helps you out if you're starting out or if you're an experienced driver and you're just looking to do better. Um, you know, I still do pretty well on the app for, for minimal hours with tips and, you know, the money I make. So I can assure you that, like, me doing a lot of these things is helping me as well. And it will help you if you apply a lot of it. So as per usual like the video, subscribe. Dylan's going to be getting even more content to you guys. And uh, yeah, best of luck driving guys.